My name is Erica Clark. I am the Assistant Director of Experiential Learning for the College of Business. In our session today, we are going to learn how to become an influential business leader. Without further ado, I would love to introduce Ms. Yorka Valesco Cavalerio. I'm learning, I'm working on it. Um, Yorka is the co-founder for I Empower, and it is a wonderful organization that empowers, it's, a, it's for women empowerment. She's also a co-creator of the Emerging Leaders Program for Prospanica, international speaker and published author. Uh, I'm not going to go on and read her, her long bio, but she has over 22 years of experience in the areas of sales, marketing, and business development. She's very passionate about uh, leadership development, strategy development, diversity, and inclusion. Again, the list goes on and on. Um, so without further ado, Ms. Yorka. Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I want to thank you first and foremost, Erica, for uh, inviting me to speak to you all. Um, thank you to those of you who have your camera on. I love that. Hopefully we can have an, uh, a session that's very interactive. So I would highly, highly encourage you to use the chat. Hi, Joey. Use the chat, use your camera, raise your hand. And as I share um, the presentation with you, please feel free to ask me any questions. Um, that would be an ideal situation. Today's conversation is all about becoming an influential leader. So if, if I could ask you a question, what does influential mean to you? I see, I see that people are putting, making concrete decisions, network, inspiring others, leaving an impact. Wow, how powerful is that? Yes, encouraging. Inspiring. Wow, persuade in a good way. Yes. Yes, that's fantastic. Impact, empowering. Those words are so, so incredible. And when you think about those words, they all have a thread, right? It's about the collective. So when you think about being influential, you can influence not just yourself, but the bigger picture is how you influence others. So if I may have your permission to share with you a couple of lessons that I learned um, throughout this 22 years that have really helped me embrace what does it mean to step into that power, that ability to influence, um, and how it's all connected. And by the end of the session, if you walk away with one or two things that you can remember, uh, that would be ideal. And, and I'll start by sharing why is Dr. Seuss there. Um, I moved to this country when I was 15 years old. And at 15 years old, I didn't know how to speak the language. So I had to learn how to speak it, right? And there, there are two things that I attribute to learning the language. One, my dad, who is an engineer by trade, but he would force my brother and I to memorize five words in English every single day. So we, when he got home from work, we would have to tell him what, what were the words we memorized and what were their meanings. And then books. Books were uh, another escape for me. And when I picked up Dr. Seuss, think about it. I didn't know the language and I picked up Dr. Seuss. And it is such a complex yet so simple book, all the books that, that, that he has, um, but they have a lot of meaning. And the first one is the first lesson that I have in my mind over and over again is the one that says, today you are you that is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. And what has allowed me to do with that is to really be able to step into my story and be okay with it and learn from it and mold it and shape it into something that not only serves the community, but empowers others and empowers me along the way. 